follow up now to a murky mess making life on Lake St. Clair miserable. We showed you last week the rapid growth of an invasive muck producing algae. The lake is also a source of drinking water, of course. Experts say one of the problems is that in many parts of Metro Detroit, toilet water runs into the same pipes as storm water. During a storm, the sewers can overflow into waterways. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell shows us one small solution. I first told you this story last week, two years ago. This was a beautiful marina, and now it is surrounded by muck. It's not because the water's low, it's because of an algae that is blocking so many people who live by Lake St. Clair from access to the water. And now one project could help a little bit. This is the scene at Beacons Field and Oak Avenue near I-94 in East Point. Macomb County Public Works crews are working on a $9.9 .9 million American Rescue Plan Act project. The plan is to install an inflatable dam that can hold back 3.5 million gallons in a storm until the system can handle flow to the water treatment plant. It's in the eight and a half mile sewer interceptor drain that handles storm and sewer water. Listen, it's 2022. This is our drinking water supply and we're discharging combined sewer overflows into Lake St. Clair. Seriously, we have to stop doing this. This is drinking water for 40 percent of Michigan's residents. Michael Scoopin says he hopes the project also slows this rapidly growing invasive algae called limbaya that creates masses of muck like this around his condo's dock. It went from a small patch two years ago to the smelly mass you see now. This is monumental. It is out in the lake bed. It's in the marina. We're seeing differences because of our changing climate. We're seeing warmer temperatures. We're seeing our water stay warmer longer. I asked Liesl Clark, the Michigan Department of Great Lakes and Energy Director, what the state believes is causing this monstrous algae growth. She points to climate change, our sewage system, and fertilizer runoff. We still do discharge the type of food that the algae likes to eat. Our storms are getting bigger and the water is coming faster and we don't have enough um, infrastructure under the ground in order to get the water where it needs to go. Scoopin says people need to see this and know it's just one consequence we'll face if we don't do more to improve our infrastructure. Now we need help. We need the, our congressmen and our senators and anybody else that can come out and help the situation. One thing is clear, while steps are being taken in the right direction, this muck and the algae that creates it remain a major problem that needs to be addressed. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.